John Cougar adds no frills. When I say black and white, I mean black and white. All this for Friday, October 28, 1983. Our close-up section features a rock star who's had enough of Hollywood and would rather live and work in a simpler place, the American Midwest. Dixie Watley traveled there to talk with John Cougar. This is Seymour, Indiana, population about 15,000. Seymour is like so many other quiet Midwestern towns, but Seymour has something those other towns don't have. Seymour has John Cougar. You get to reach inside yourself when you write. And I try to write uh, very basic human songs. I don't try to be uh, tricky with them or try to have any underlying meaning. When I say black and white, I mean black and white. It's not a very... So, like, I'm writing for the common man. What do you do to keep everything even? Well, for one thing, I live here. I live in Indiana. I mean, I live... Uh, I'm, I mean, this is where my bed is, right? I keep it even by staying here. Uh, because it's like, uh, you don't get caught up in the Hollywood or uh, race of I'm a bigger rock star than this person or I make records or I'm this or I'm that. You know, I don't, I don't have to say anything to anybody, you know. I just do what I do. Who has had the most influence on your life? Um, I don't know, probably uh, my grandpa, I suppose. He's got this Mellon Camp bad attitude that uh, keeps hanging around my neck. Cougar's climb to the top has given him special clout. He's added his real family name, Mellencamp, to his new album. Cougar, the name given him by his former manager for his first album, is now just part of his name. Would you ever drop the Cougar? I would, but the record company would have a heart attack. And then to have some stupid little name like John Cougar is ridiculous. Have some made-up name, you know, maybe be a big star, even change my name, you know, it's like that's... But, you know, it's, it's like it's no big deal, it's just a name, you know, it's better than calling me... <laughs> you know, there's three important things in life, and that's your family, your friends, and your job. Somebody said to me, well, John, you know, you have to give up your best friend so that if you want to keep making records, I had to say buy the music business, because I'd rather have my friends than I would have a record on the chart. <laughs> 